In 2003, they upgraded the women's program. We were starting to get some national attention and getting in some recruits. We began to move up into the upper echelons of the WCC. In 2016, we were graduating some of those players, and at that particular time, we were starting to move into some injuries that were um, debilitating a bit of the team. When myself and Sean started to take over on the women's side, that was probably one of our first solving points. How are we gonna solve the injury rate? The team was deep, but we were not necessarily playing the best players every single match. That season that we took over, we only won two matches. We wanted women that wanted to build and, and really put tennis as a priority. And that was part of the recruiting process to get somebody that was more into tennis and really make that a pinnacle part of what they do. I think it was definitely like a transition and it needed to happen in order for us to get to the next level. Obviously we were a team that like needed a lot of work and he made that clear saying, look, you're gonna come in, you know, we have a lot of moving pieces, we have injuries, like that kind of thing. But I have like this vision for the team and like you're gonna be a big part of that. The wins were going to come, but they had to trust us and it was not an easy process. When you are coaching players that are not winning on a regular basis, you're working a lot on confidence, you're working on building their self-esteem. If he was like looking at any recruits that we may know, like he would always like feed it into us. And there was times when I knew people and I was like, that's a no-go, you know? Like just in the sense that I knew the vision that he wanted and I knew the type of players that we needed. Maya and Rita being our captains, they, they kind of set the tone for the whole team. I know the fact that everyone else on the team was able to buy in and trusted them as captains and trusted Coach Peter and Coach Sean as coaches that everyone bought into the culture they had set and the goals that they wanted to achieve and wanted the whole team to achieve. We added some talent, but we also added, again, this feeling of caring for each other. And I think they began to look around the room and kind of recognize that and truly support each other. He really cares about like who we are as people. And that is what has just created such a positive and like, lush like environment for where we've all grown like so much that's where we've been able to like get these amazing results and like grow from being a bottom ranked team to top 70 in the country like that doesn't just happen off a whim like that's true genuine love for your players and for the people that they are i think in the past couple of years we feel like we've gotten it right in our formula um, the girls play for one another and i think that's a big thing that's really helped them and I feel like they're hungry to have success. We've been in this situation before. Keep that energy up. We gotta go, we gotta go. Right now, focus on singles and go after it. Didn't come to talent or how many balls we'd hit. It came to, like, we had more guts than the other teams. The teammates not only, like, help each other, but also like trying to like improve as a person. There's definitely like a collective goal and when you see your teammates wanting to win and having that desire to do better, you, you feel that too. I remember studying like some of us were just like pointing at the USF logo. Go, we're doing it for us and like it's just coming from our heart. Playing tennis with your best friends makes it so much more fun. You want to be there every second of it, even if you're having a bad day, and it's because you're with your best friends. I love playing matches like with my girls and like going out there and like kicking butt because it's just there's no better feeling than that. We are embarking on wanting to be an NCAA qualification team. We want to be as high as we can in that WCC finish. I'm very proud of like all the accomplishments that we've had throughout the years. I could definitely say that I was a part of that and made a difference in that. These young ladies are wonderful. Um, they've added a lot to my life personally. But not only that, just building them and everything that they do 
on a daily basis is extremely rewarding.